Today I want to show you a classic French fish dish, often served on special occasions, but it's just ridiculously easy to make. It's known as lot à la moricaine or lot à la américaine, and I'll explain why later. But first, let's get to the market and catch some fish. I normally don't have a strict shopping list here and just choose what's most fresh and in season. Monkfish, or lot in French, is easily available in France between October to June. It's a meaty fish, slightly sweet and known as poor man's lobster. <laughs> Unlike many others at the market, luckily you'll never see the horror-like head of the monkfish. Have you seen it? It takes about half of the fish. That's why la lotte is known as the crapaud or diable de mer. Thankfully, we just see the monkfish's tail or cheeks and once the middle big bone is removed, you're left with the healthy meaty part with no bones about it. I've got some beautiful fresh monkfish, monkfish tail. And it's all been beautifully filleted for me. If the fishmonger can do it for you, why not? This dish is great for entertaining and the French tend to serve this for special occasions, but it's relaxed. Serve bubbling from the pot at the table and serve with rice and veg. So let's get started. First, cut the monkfish tail into large chunks and coat the fish with flour. Okay, this part isn't exciting to watch, so it's an ideal time to tell you the story of why this dish has two names. The recipe goes back to the end of the 19th century, when it was created by a French chef, Pierre Fraisse, originally from Set, who had moved to Paris after working in America. A group of hungry customers arrived late in his Parisian restaurant, Peter's, and he realised all he had left was tomorrow's lobster. So he rustled up a lobster dish in a tomato garlicky sauce, reminiscent of his native south with olive oil, but added Breton overtones, hence lots of butter. So when prompted for the name of the dish, as his customers had loved it, he called it Omar à l'Américaine, with an American sauce, as he'd just returned from Chicago. As the best lobster comes from the American coast of Brittany, over the years the other name has been given to the recipe and it's more popular with monkfish, which is cheaper. The Brittany version also adds a little bit of cream or creme fraiche at the end, but personally I prefer it without, but I'll leave you to decide which one you prefer. Lightly brown the fish on all sides. Also chop up your onion and three good cloves of garlic. I like to take out the inner vein because it makes it easier to digest. I missed the bit where it splashed in with the, the cognac, but I've, I've been using whiskey instead. I've a little bit of joie et bonheur because I'm Scottish, but normally you should be using French cognac. Back on the fish. Now I'm just going to take this out with a slotted spoon. Smell that. It's just beautiful. Gosh. See how easy that is? Well, while your sauce is reducing nicely for about 30 minutes, you can be preparing some green beans. I love green beans with this, and I like to prepare them kind of in advance and then put them in cold water, and then I can just reheat them up at the last minute. Don't forget to add your fish 10 minutes at the end of cooking, and that's it, with some salt and pepper and some lots of chopped fresh parsley. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> if you're enjoying my recipes, please do subscribe to my channel and be notified of when new ones are served up. And do let me know if you make this in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. <laughs> Can I have a kiss for that? Can I give you a bad news? That was fishy, really fishy.